Hey, this is Kevin Grawlington with TotalTennisDomination.com and I got another Q&A question for you. Um, this is from uh, Leonardo. I have a problem with my forehand when I hit the ball. Uh, usually the racket face angle is too close and the ball goes in the net. I don't know if it is uh, my contact point, spacing, or just uh, about my grip. I use a semi-eastern forehand um, between levels three and four, and I think he's referring to the, the notches. Well, usually when I think about problems with the forehand, uh, I kind of generalize into three different things. First of all, like you said, I think about the racket face angle. Is my racket face level, too close, too close where it's going in the net, or too open? That's usually the easiest thing to fix because the ball's gonna tell you what it is. So if the ball's going in the net, probably the racket face is a little bit too close. The next thing I start thinking about is racket path. Uh, what I mean by racket path is how I'm swinging through the ball. Am I swinging straight to, through the ball? Am I accidentally swinging down on the ball or swinging up on the ball? And how much am I swinging up on the ball? Those two things usually play a, a really big part into what the ball is going to do. The third thing is balance. So let's say I have the right racket face and let's say I have the right racket path. But if I start losing my balance or changing my body because I'm losing my balance, that's going to affect both of those things making the ball go in the net. So I mainly start there. One, with the racket face. Two, with the racket path. One other thing with the racket path is making sure that you have enough distance away from your body. You were talking about a little bit about spacing. So what I mean by that is if you take the racket and it's too close to your body, what's gonna happen is it's almost gonna catch on your body, especially if you're not rotating, you're using most of your arm. So you wanna make sure you have enough room away from you so you can really swing and let your arm and the racket travel uh, through the ball. And then third, we were talking about bounce, making sure that you use the right footwork and stances based on the type of ball you're getting to make sure you're balanced throughout the contact. Okay, so I hope this helps you. Make sure you go through those three things to help you with your forehand and leave me a, a comment or questions below. You know, tell me about if you're having issues with your forehand, what uh, is it and do these three kind of like checkpoints help you? Okay, this is Kevin Grawlington at TotalTennisDomination.com. Go out and play tough and leave me a like if you enjoyed this video. Have a good one.